He's doing a good job and uh, he's definitely made really good strides. He's still like we all are work in progress, but um, his sets are getting better. His feet are getting better. His hands are getting better. And I think, um, you know, we're still working the top of the pocket and, and some things there. But um, overall, I think he's on the right track, too. You expect to put him and Jamarco, uh, I'm sorry, you expect to put Nicholas and Jamarco in with the ones at some point or has this thing going on? Yeah, I think, you know, um, that's a good question. I think, you know, we are still in, um, we are still competing. So there's going to be um, opportunities, obviously preseason games start next week and stuff like that, where we're expecting to see um, guys make some strides and really solidify some jobs. So nothing's off the table. We're learning every day, each and every day. Uh, we came in, everybody was in, in, in great shape. So that that's the... That's the start of it, but uh, we're progressing. You know, uh, each day as we're still, you know, still in, uh, part, doing the uh, still part of the install phase, uh, still part of that's going on. But we're they're, they're doing a good job. I'm I'm excited about the the progress that we've been making as a group. Guys like Chestnut and Wilkins, what what do they have to show you? Not just in your individual meeting rooms, but on the field, told us to kind of compete for the roster spot this year. They just have to go out and do their job each and every day, and then those decisions will be made by the, by Graves and John uh, and their staff and John staff. Uh, so we just coach me go out, do your job, don't make mistakes, and uh, we'll see how it all shakes out in the end. You guys maybe had a little bit different strategy for Derek coming into this year, a little bit more work in the early days than than maybe we've seen in the past. Is he? Do you feel like that's going to benefit him in the in the long run, I guess, in, in, in camp after coming off the injury? Absolutely. It, it, you know, it gives him a chance to get back into the flow of it pretty quickly. Um, you know, obviously, um, he was here doing vet mini camp. Uh, so it was kind of carrying over from that. You know, uh, he started with, with the progress there in vet mini camp. And then when he came out here, uh, getting him going early, getting kind of the timing and all that stuff and the camaraderie and chemistry with the other guys on the offense. And, and then uh, he'll have his own program that Braves and the strength staff design and train the staff. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep him moving forward that way. Just to translate it to a game and, you know, when you're taking care of the ball. Um, and again, when there's a lot of camp left take care of the ball that's obviously a good thing we monitor that I definitely monitor that and so far it's been good Toronto hope you didn't jinx me <laughs> what the, um, yeah I, it's, I guess it's, it's, it's six and one half half dozen the other I think you know what number one what having a true number one gives you is someone who uh, in clutch situations that you can lean on um, but I think in, in this situation you know we're developing guys to, to be able to step up in those situations and, and um, you know, I, I think we have the guys in our group uh, that'll step up and be able to give us what we need to win football games.